Okay, hi guys. Um, when we were down at the last outing, um, we were having some discussion about cod flies. Um, so the one I'm going to do today is a fly called the Mr. Dobson fly. Um, it's one that featured fairly heavily in that Cod's Country DVD, for those of you that have seen that. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do the black and pink version. Um, but use your imagination because you know you can pretty much do just about any color you want. So what I've got here is I've got a 4.0 Gamma Katsu SL12S um, and some large dumbbell eyes that I've already tied on. Now for the hook, um, you know you want to tie these in various sizes. If you want a slightly longer fly, go for something like a Gamma Katsu Sea Wash or uh, one of their Gamma Katsu Spinner Bait flies. Um, in this case, I'm just using a, a 12S because um, you know I can use it in both salt and fresh water, um, and um, you know that's the reason I'm using the um, the pink and black version as well. Um, so first thing, because it is a cod fly, and you're going to be fishing it into you know reasonably heavy cover, I suggest you put a weed guard on. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do a weed guard, and a lot of cod flies have either heavy mono or um, stainless wire or plastic coated wire as the weed guard. I'm going to use the mono. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use hard mono from Rio. Um, and in this case, I'm using 26 pound um, hard mono. So once you've got the eyes on, I don't need to show you how to do that. I mean, I'm, you, you know, I've shown you enough and I'm sure you've got the idea by now, but you know, don't put it as far back as you would for a clouser. Sort of do it and leave uh, two to three mils from the, the hook hook eye um, and then all I've done is I've taken a length of mono and I've doubled it over so you can see there I've sort of pinched it into into a semi loop and then what I'm going to do is, is put it onto the hook shank um, and make sure that my loop is going to be higher than the point of the hook when it's sticking up okay because it's going to sit up like that all right and then just tie that in now you want to make sure you tie that in fairly well and you do want to do it at this point of the tying process rather than leaving it to the end so that you do have a good base of thread over your um, over your weed guard so around there a couple of times and then around here now if I push that up you can see it's higher than the point of the hook um, I'm actually going to trim that um, at the end um, so just leave it like that so it's sticking out and that way it's not going to get in the way while you're doing the rest of the tying. Okay, so then take your thread back to the bend in the hook. Alright, um, so this one as I said is the, um, the pink Dobson. So the tail is just basically three pink marabou feathers. Um, so you can buy the, the strung marabou um, and just take three of those feathers and you want a reasonably long and fluffy tail like that, okay? So, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, geez, that's a big tail. But once that gets wet, you know, it's going to, you know, bunch up a little bit, but you're still going to get a lot of movement. And the key thing with cod flies, um, you know, and the same for, for other fish like dewfish or even barramundi, is you want to be moving a fair bit of water, all right? And having that bulk in the materials is going to ensure that it does move water. Uh, you know, a lot of these fish are uh, in dirty, you know, water conditions. Um, you know, so you want them to notice the fly. And one way of doing that is by making a lot of vibration and a lot of water movement um, that they pick up with their lateral line, okay? So that's the reason you're taking a fairly big tuft of marabou, okay? So the next step is to tie in a little bit of flash now, you know, you don't want to overdo it with the flash, um, just enough to add a little bit of accent and again, in dirty water, um, give the fish something to, to sort of spark their attention. Um, so, just take the flash and you want it just on either side of the marabou. Um, so tie it in on one side and then take it and tie it in on the other side and if you need to trim it, you can trim it. Um, when you're finished to the length you want. Okay, so the next bit is again to build bulk into the body of the fly. Okay, the other thing you can do if you want to is you could tie in a rattle. 
All right, now if you're going to put a rattle in, you just tie it onto the shank and then wrap the, um, the next piece over the top. So the next bit, again, to add some bulk, and I'm using a slightly different shade of pink, is some um, cross-cut rabbit zonker. Okay, so you want to tie it in so that um, you know the, the rabbit zonker, as you wrap it, is going back towards that marabou tail. So just trap the zonka strip like that with the thread and tie it on and then take your thread forward. All right, and just wrap. You know, you want a fairly decent length of body here. Um, so don't be afraid of using too much. Um, you know, like I said, we're building some decent bulk into the fly here. Okay, that's probably enough because we want to leave some room for the next bunch of material. <clears throat> okay, so we finish that, we just tie that in. Try not to trap too much of the fur um, and you know, make sure it's all pushing towards the back of the hook. Take that out and again just a few wraps of thread and that'll all you can see how that bulks up and then blends into the marabou there. All right, so the next bit. Now, there's two ways you can do this. So what we're doing is we're putting a collar on it. Um, now, you can use schlappen feathers um, or really webby hackle feather for the collar. Or you can use marabou and wrap the marabou around the collar. In this case, I'm just going to use some cross-cut black um, for the colour for the collar of it, and the coloured collar. <laughs> um, again, just tie it in, and we're going to wrap it back over the pink. All right, so we tie that in, get the thread back up out of the way, and then we're just going to wrap the collar, the same as we did for the pink. Okay, and then once you've done that, wraps around it to hold it in place while we cut it. Pull that back out. Okay, so you can see there the collar. Now the rest of it is just a matter of now trying to finish it off um, and you know make it look relatively neat. Um, so you know a few, a few wraps around the, the eyes. But you can see how that will puff up in the water and it's got a lot of thickness so it's really going to move water quite a bit when um, when stripped and you know I think it'll be a fairly effective fly for a number of species not just for cod you could do smaller versions and I'm sure they'd work um, equally as well on um, on bass all right so again I'm just trying to um, neaten up the head of the fly a little bit Okay, so once you're happy with that, take your weed guard, push it back, okay, and then do a whole lot of wraps in front of the weed guard. And what this will do is get it to stand up the way you want it. So this is probably the best weed guard, well, this style of tying the weed guard is probably the best for this style of, um, of fishing. You can use the mono loop that goes through the back and, and over, um, but it's going to interfere with your materials. Um, that's why I've chosen this um, two mono sticks. Okay, so you can see that's now sitting up and all we do is make sure we just cut the tips off, leaving the two sticks longer than the point of the hook. And, and what's going to happen is if it, it hits a log or something, you can see that's fairly stiff. It's going to push the fly up over the log. Um, but if a fish takes it, they're just going to collapse down. So it opens up the gape of the hook, see? And that's it. Bit of head cement, a little bit of epoxy or something over the top just to toughen up the thread. Because um, as I said, you're throwing it into some fairly um, heavy cover. Um, and that's your Mr. Dobson fly. It's going to swim like that. You've got a nice lot of movement with the marabou in the tail. And the collar in the front is really going to make it um, push some water. There you go. Hope you enjoy that, guys. See ya.